This is beautiful. Wanna put the tent there? I think so. The thunder box is in a pretty buggy spot. Aren't they all? What is it back here? Yeah. There's another spot for a tent potentially. Yeah, she's really in there. All right. Ah, it's really buggy. Let's <laughs> get out of here. So we're gonna leave this site and uh, try for a different one. Jamie doesn't like this site. It's too burned. What? Well, why? There's no, there's no trees to even hang tarps from. Like, we know the bugs are going to be bad. They're so bad in there. Yeah. So, like, where are we going to hang our bug net? We'd have to hang it in there. And the tent pad's, like, all dry and cracked on the ground. And, like, who cares about the beach? It's not even sunny anymore anyway. So, let me find a proper site. He doesn't like this site. Oh. We're leaving. I don't get my beach. Hopefully we'll find another one. It's four o'clock though. So, so you think something bad happened here? Something bad happened. He's saying it's got bad vibes, this um, site. It's no good. Oh, did you film the fire? You can see. The fire? Oh. What fire? So, like someone left a ground fire burning here. Yeah, there's a ground fire. That happens, no? Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah he's, <laughs> This is better. They're not here now. <laughs> Actually, they are. They're leaving now. <laughs> They're going to find another site. <laughs> Plus, there's no firewood. It's an island. It's an island. There's no firewood. There's no trees. There's nothing good about it. It's this burned. Site. The only good thing about this site is this view and this beach. Those are pretty great things. Can you tell we have a difference of opinion? That's the portage that we came from a while ago. So we're going the other direction. Seeing what's over here. Looks like a tornado. Yeah. F1. An F1 tornado did this? <laughs> this is what Jamie is assuming. What do you think? She doesn't care. Tired. Wow. That's just absolute destruction. Can you imagine being here and something like that happen? Nope. Okay, we're passing on the ones on this side of the lake and we're going all the way back to the rock one. Halfway, almost all the way to the one we were originally at. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm not happy about it either. 
There'll be lots of time for swims, don't worry. This is the one. I mean, it's definitely nice sitting, it would be nice to sit here. Those people sound loud. Okay, yeah, that's, that's the deciding factor. And they're over there. Oh, we're going back to the beach? Yep. Except we just wasted an hour of swimming time? Yeah, sorry. Here we are again. Home sweet home. 500 calories later. 500 calories in an hour later. It wasn't an hour. It was an hour. It's five. Is it five? It's 5.09. It was an hour. So half an hour each way. Yes, that was a lot of fun. Look at all the tadpoles. Woo! Bridgies. It's a beach party. So the site feels better now because now I know. Because now you know. Now I know that there's nothing else in this life. <laughs> that's beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's a perfect site. It's perfect. Quick, get the whiskey. Let's so check out. You did this bug tarp. Yeah, look at this masterpiece. Oh, yeah. We have a view of the sunset from the bug shelter, if needed, if we need to retreat there. If needed. <laughs> if need be, we can view the sunset from the bug shelter. Oh, wow. That's great. Look at that. How did you make it so level on the floor? Wasn't easy. Wasn't easy. <laughs> yeah, tell me. So, looks great. So I had to climb that tree as high as I could to get that one up. Oh. There was no way I could throw a rope over a branch in there because it's so bushy. So I managed to get it up high. It could be a little higher. So there's a bit of a sag over there, but you know, it'll do. This side, no problem. You might have to fix it. I don't know if it'll do. It'll do. And then did a, got a nice, perfectly square line there right on the edge of this root. Oh, yeah. I tied some green reflective paracord on there so we don't trip over it at night. Perfect. Pinned it all out. Pretty square. As you can see, staked it all out. Got this side was, so this side, this is where the real magic happens over here. Oh yeah, show me that. So, so here, this is where we kind of ran out of space, right? And so I can't really like pull it out this way into the fire. So I managed to pull it out this way. So it created a bit of a weird sag. Oh, wow. But then to compensate for the sag, I got this guy up here in the tree to tie it up just to give it a little lift here, you know? Without it, it really kind of sags down here. So this gives it, when you're in there, it makes it feel like a lot more open. Wow. And when we're in our chairs, we'll still be able to see the campfire once we get back home. So how long are we staying? I mean, we could stay here all week now. Now that we got, this was my biggest concern was where I was going to put this thing, so. You should have seen how bad the bugs were yesterday. There's not. Yeah, I've never seen so many mosquitoes in my life as last night. I've never seen Emma swat bugs either off of her face, but she was. What are you doing? What are you going down there for? Go for a swim. You're so hot. Go for a swim. Well, this looks great. I mean, if you can't find any maple, though, are we going to get pops from the fire jumping onto the tarp? Yep. We'll have to just get tape. Tape it up. Well, you might have to find some maple wood. Hey, where are you going? What's in there? Do you want to go for a swim? Here, push the stick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Can't even swim, it's so shallow.
So let me show you guys what I've been working on while Jamie's been setting up the bug tarp. So you know how if you put a chair in the water, the legs sink? I've got four perfectly flat rocks, one for each leg, perfectly positioned. So that I can sit here in the water and drink whiskey on the beach. Emma, you know we have a towel for you. You don't have to dry yourself like that. It's pine? It's spruce. Pine or spruce. Send it back. We don't want it. It'll make lots of noise and it'll burn really hot and fast. Hot and fast? Do it. Do you want to have breakfast? Okay, so we're gearing up to head out. We, oh, I've got dirt all over my face. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. We're gearing up to head out um, onto this lake, which is three mile. And we're gonna have one, only one portage today, but it's a big one. Um, 2.9 kilometers, so 2,900 meters. And then we'll be on Manitou, which is a big lake, and the wind is picking up right now. So hopefully it's not too windy on Manitou because it's a big one, but that's where we're staying. So it's not too bad, but we just have like one mega portage, which is the biggest one of the trip. I'm gonna go try and take this dirt off my face. Almost ready? Yeah. She doesn't want to get wet. <laughs> Look at her. Look, loading. <laughs> Come here.
This is a tired dog. We're leaving. It's hot. It's hot. Hot one. Coming through. Gotta drink lots of water. <laughs> okay, three mile to Manitou. So this is the biggest portage we've done, eh? Ever. Mm. We did a two. Might be. Okay. Thought we did a three something. Maybe not. No, this is the longest one we've ever done. Yeah. So we'll have to take some breaks. We just put bug lotion on and we're having some energy blocks. Sugar. Sugar. We're having some sugar. Feels like that. We're getting ready to go. I hope we're going the right way. The sign for the portage um, was on the ground <laughs> with an arrow pointed this way when we came to a crossing at a road. Um, yeah, so if that sign on the ground was pointing the wrong way, we've been walking up this road for a little bit. Really don't want to be wasting kilometers on this one. And take a break. This crossing. We're on day four of uh, eating baby bells. We normally bring baby bells on fall trips or spring trips because it's nice and cool out. Mm -hmm. And at nighttime it goes down to like four, so it's like a fridge anyway. But it's been like consistently 25, 30 degrees. So I don't know. I don't know if I trust them anymore. Jen's eating them, but. Yeah, you're not you're not doing the baby bells. We've got a time I'm left still. I'm going for it. Good luck. Let's see what happens. I have a good stomach. And she's gonna help me with them too. She likes them. Although this one's long, it's not as challenging. It's pretty flat. Um, the one we did the other day that was half the length was a lot more difficult because there was a lot of incline. But this one's really, it's not bad, it's just long. It's pretty flat. <laughs> Taking a second. The shoulders. The shoulders? The shoulders. They burn. It's really flat though, eh? Like it's not... It's pretty easy. My legs are not even sore compared to the other ones. Honestly, if I had my pad, if I didn't forget my pad, this would be fine. Yeah. It's just the, the wood is like digging into my shoulder. It's not nice. Yeah, your yoke pad. Right? Yeah, I forgot it. All right. Get her done. 
Okay, now it's steep. I think we're near the end. Steeper than Devil's Staircase, this one? Yeah, it's pretty steep. And rock. Yeah, Devil's Staircase is a st staircase, not rocks like this. Um, yeah. And they're kind of hidden with leaves, so you should be careful. Yeah, that is steeper going uphill than it looks. And we're glad we didn't have to go uphill on that one. <laughs> that was kind of, kind of steep. Oh, this is steep too. But yeah, oh man, if you gotta go up, it's not a good time. Not us, we're having a great time, we're going down. Jamie's probably having a slightly less, slightly less of a great time than I am because of the canoe. It's steep. Oh boy. Okay. Really pretty. Ah, uh, the beaches are taken. We are gonna go to the beach for a swim potentially at the end of the portage, but it looks like. Uh, it looks like those people are leaving. Oh, are they leaving? And I think that those are the people from our lake, actually. I mean, we could join them, but. <laughs> They're leaving. You see, we're here, and tomorrow we need to get up to here. So okay. I was gonna, we, I was gonna think we would stay up here somewhere. Okay. So like we can hang out here for a bit, but then we gotta go up there. That's far. Yeah. They're horse flies. Huh? They're horse flies. Yeah. When they get you. Oh my god. We're just laying there in the water. Yeah, Looking at that view. <laughs> oh yeah, they're bad. Yeah, we gotta get going. They're driving me crazy. There's no way in how we could camp here. Why are they here? Because the beach. I'm going to go to the beach. We're off on Manitou. There's a lot of horse flies here. Um, they're swarming us. We enjoyed a nice swim, but we're gonna go. I didn't get bit, but. I got bit on my butt like five times. On your butt? They really liked my merino underwear. <laughs> Just checking out the site. Looks like um, the sun's gonna set that way. It's 
got a little rocky beach. It's got shade. Might be a keeper. It's pretty nice, I gotta say. Pretty nice? It's, I like it more than the site we stayed at yesterday. You wanna okay. come out and have a look? Okay. check out that island is it on this side like where is I mean, the, the, whole, the whole island is just like open okay it's a big campsite. yeah there's just no firewood so we'll have to like bring firewood in from somewhere else sure. this is the beach site it's really looking nice though we're just trying to make sure it is a site find a site marker The Thunderbox is right here by the beach. I guess, um, yeah, because we came in actually off the back of the site. The site marker is on the other side. Wow. Ooh. Great view. But yeah, windier. Mm -hmm. So if that wind comes up tonight. I like both. You pick. I'm gonna set it up here. The wind, the bug tarp. Yeah. So you just poured some water on the fire pit. Yeah. So we're on a little island. It's full of pines. So these are those types of islands that are like prime for burning, and. I got here and I looked at the fire pit and I knew right away someone didn't pour water on it and sure enough, you can just hear it sizzling. Yeah, it's kind of sizzling. I mean, yeah, it sizzles when you first did it. There, it's like smoking. Yeah, you really need to pour water on your fires when you're done with them. So even though like there's no wood left, the wind could blow it out and like look at this pile of stuff here so like easily some sparks or whatever could have blown onto that and also what happens is it burns down into the ground and there's all roots in here yeah it can be an underground root fire which is very very dangerous i mean yeah. it'll only get this island but if you do that on any site you yeah. could burn down the forest it's just really dangerous you need to put out your fires properly with water not let them burn down. And we shouldn't be having to tell you that. <laughs> you should know better. If you're out here, you should know better. So. This one. So this is the third site we're visiting. <laughs> it's got a really cool, beautiful beach that I want to hang out on. But we're not staying here. We had a quick look at the site. There's no sunset view. It's that way, which is fine. Because this would be an epic sunrise view. Um, and it's got a pretty cool fire pit. This big 
rock. It's great. Not amazing places to put tents, like there's that spot, which is fine. This is too close to the fire, but you could put one here. But the, the deal breaker <laughs> as we were walking around, Jamie was like, oh, I smell it here. We're leaving. Deal breaker is we were by the fire and we could smell this. Never seen a full on outhouse out here, but it is a full on outhouse. And it's gross. I don't want to go in there. I mean, it would. It's fine, but it smells really bad. And it's wafting all the way to the fire pit. Like you can smell it. The fire pit. You can see it too. Maybe that's why it's a full outhouse, so to give some privacy. I don't know. But we don't want to be smelling poop all night. Deal breaker? Wanna go back to the first one? First, first one? Mm -hmm. We're back at the first site and we're staying. Emma, are you okay? Emma? Can I take that off? Emma, come here. Come here. Wait, just wait. Okay, thank you. Get up. I'm gonna take it off like this. Okay, wait. Oh! Jeez. Wild animal here. did this yeah wow this is looking very neat and tidy look at this sharp corner here this is looking great okay so I've set up the tent I haven't put the uh, fly on yet because I'm wanting the um, bags and everything to air out a little bit. Um, so I've opened everything up. I've blown up the um, air mattresses as well and just laid out our sleeping bags so that they can air out. I'm just gonna show you what we like to do for Emma because this is not a large tent. It's a two person tent. It's not a three person tent. Um, before we got it, Jamie and I had quite the debate about um, whether we should get a two-person tent or a three-person tent. And that was before we had Emma. I thought, mm, it's going to be kind of tight in there. <laughs> Just the two of us is going to be tight. It's like smaller than a double bed, basically, this tent, the footprint of it. Um, but we all actually managed to fit just fine. So that's the foot of the tent. And we've got our Neo Air mattresses here. So this is the Hubba Hubba two-person MSR um, Hubba Hubba NX. And what we do for Emma is we have this Thermarest. It's a short guy. Fits just perfectly across the bottom. We put that down. And then we have um, the Little Dipper, a plus five sleeping bag from MEC or MEC. It's actually not for a dog. It's um, a youth bag. So it has a little zipper 
Um, we were gonna get our dog one, but it seems to be somewhat overpriced with dog gear. So we just thought, well, this was affordable and it's warm enough. We put that down for her and she just lays there at the foot. And we have our bags that sort of extend across. Like I'll usually go a little bit more to the side there. And James too. And she's got enough. Sometimes she ends up going like this way a little bit in between us, but um, it just, this thermorest protects the air mattresses a little bit from her nails. She does come up on here a little bit too, but so far she's been fine. Um, yeah, and we fit just fine in here. See if Jamie catches a fish for us. Another creamy beef, and then three sister stew tonight. I love small fire pits like that. 